afternoon. I'm Connor Lancaft here at STG Strength and Power. I'm going to be putting Dan Neen through an upper body workout. The first exercise we're going to be doing, Dan, is a Medex row machine. What I want you to first do is approach the machine and just sit flat on the seat with your chest against the front pad. Mm -hmm. Make a 90 degree angle with your feet flat on the ground. And you're going to reach forward. Don't grab the handles fully. You're going to see you might be a little bit too close. So what we want is your hands just, just to be able to reach the handles. Mm -hmm. For that reason is when you extend during the uh, exercise, we don't want the waist staff to touch. Okay. So hop off and I'll move the seat back for you. Try that. So just naturally put your arms forward. Okay, that's about good. All right. Yeah, and when you uh, start the exercise, you're slowly going to lean forward and grab the handles. It's the only time you're going to lean forward during the exercise. We're going to do a cadence of 4-1-4, four, four, the 4 second positive, mm -hmm. a 1 second hold, and the 4 second negative. Okay. okay, so when you're ready, you can start doing this exercise. So what Dan's focusing on now is using the major muscles of his back, the latissimus dorsi. Excuse me, some of the synergists are the forearms and the biceps. He's stabilizing the whole exercise with his low back and abdomen. He's controlling the weight both ways with a smooth turnaround. One, two, three, four. He's using a good cadence. Head up. A common discrepancy some people do, they like to lean back during the positive to complete that full range of motion. Dan's eliminating that by just using his back muscles to pull, to pull the weight up. Keeping the chest against the pad. His breathing's good. We're going to aim for about an 8 to 12 rep range then. Keep breathing. I want you to control that weight all the way. Smooth turnaround. We don't want any momentum. Keep the feet flat on the floor. Pull. Pause at the back for a static hold and slowly lower. Four seconds. Good. Dan's using very good speed on this. He's controlling the weight both ways, smooth turnaround. You can keep your head up. When it starts to get heavy, Dan, I want you to increase your press. You can wrap it to the session. Good. Good. You're going to pull back. You can pause. Nice. Now slow. Four seconds. Very good. Now keep pulling. Keep pulling. Good. Okay, this next rep, I want you to pull as quick as you can, okay? It's not gonna move quickly, but I want you to pull as quick as you can. And when you come to a dead stop, I want you to pause and hold for about five seconds. Breathe quickly, nice and controlled. Now slowly lower it. Breathe, breathe. Now lean forward so the weight stack doesn't drop. Okay, you can step out of the machine. Step back, and you are done. Okay, the next exercise we're going to put Dan to is an isolation movement for the lower body. Dan, we're going to be using the Medex leg extension. So the first thing, we want you to sit down on the seat mm -hmm. before you put your legs under that pad. And then you're going to slide your left leg under first and then your right leg. You're going to sit back. What we're looking for here is with the Medex machines, there's a point of axis of rotation. You want that right through his knee, knee joint, because that's the primary uh, rotation that we're going to be working through. There's handles on each side, Dan, and there's a seat belt if you can put that on for me. Yep. Make sure that's snug. If there's always a seat belt, make sure you put it on. Okay, there's handles. We don't want a death grip. We want a nice, loose hold. You can just use it to stabilize yourself. But we've picked a weight that Dan feels comfortable with. We're going to go for about 8 to 12 uh, repetitions. Okay. We're going to go 4 second positive for lifting. One second hold and a four second negative. So whenever you're ready, you can start the exercise. So this isolation movement, the primary uh, muscle group being worked at the front of the quads. Four major mu muscle groups there. The stabilizers are going to be the hamstrings and the abs. As you see, Dan's controlling both ranges. He's controlling the movement arm. He's not letting it drop. Using about four seconds going up. One, two, three, four. It's gonna hold it for a second and slowly come down. One, two, three, four, 
What we don't want to see any client doing is leaning forward during an exercise, his upper body coming up, or leaning back and putting a big arch in his back. His neck and head's in a stable position, neutral position. He's controlling both ways, smooth turnaround. He's using no momentum at all to move the weight. He's controlling his breathing. Good. You're going to push all the way up in. Good. Nice squeeze. Now control it. Now once the weight starts to feel heavy, you're going to increase your breaths. Quick and consecutive. Very good. Keep squeezing up. Slight pause. Very good. You want a light grip on those handles. Squeeze right up in. Right up. I want you to pause. On this next one, I want you to move it as quick as you can, okay? Might not move quick, but I want you to move it right up, right up. Keep squeezing. Keep squeezing. Good. Keep squeezing. Straight up. Very good. We're going to keep doing that. You're almost done. Squeeze hard. Focus on moving that upper leg. Once you come to a dead spot, I want you to hold it. Keep squeezing. Okay. Now slowly come back down. Good. Now under your seatbelt, you're going to slide your legs out of the machine first. You're going to sit up, walk away from the machine. Okay, the last exercise, Dan, we're going to put you through is a isolation exercise for the abdomen. Okay. We've done an upper body compound movement with the Medex row, a lower body isolation with the Medex leg extension. So now we're on to the abdomen. Okay. So what we're going to do with this uh, Nautilus ab curl, we're going to sit down on the machine. You're going to hook your legs under those pads. They're going to be just above the ankle. Okay, and you're going to place your hands right above those handles. Okay. What we want to avoid doing is gripping too hard up here and reefing down. Okay. We want to concentrate on contracting the abdomen and pulling towards your knees, okay? Okay. You're going to act as if your knees are coming up to your chest and your elbows are meeting your knees. Okay. Okay, so we've picked a weight. We're going to aim for about 8 to 12 reps again. Mm -hmm. and when you come down, when you come up, I want you to loosen your grip just a little bit, open up your hands, so that way your abs are going to be getting the full work of the movement. Okay. Okay? Yep. What's the cadence here, Connor? We're going to do two second positive. So okay. you're going to come down, hold for a second, then a four second negative. The reason is with these Nautilus machines, the cam is a lot more aggressive than a Medex machine. You can't really see the cam in this, but it's going to be right in line with the top of your abdomen. All right. Okay? So when you're ready, we're going to start. Squeeze down, two seconds, hold. Now four second up, loosen your grip just a little bit. Good. Two seconds down. So obviously the primary muscle group being worked here is the ab abdomen. Squeeze down. Good. Very good, speed. Two seconds. One, two, one, two, three, four. Squeeze, good. You're using your hip flexors as a synergist in the movement. Your lower back is going to be a stabilizer on this exercise. You're going to squeeze down two seconds, straight down. Good. Open up your hands a little bit. Contract those abs. Four seconds. Good. And you're going to start increasing your breaths. Never hold your breath on an exercise. Good. Hold time. Quick breaths, quick consecutive breaths. You're going to squeeze right down again, right down to your knees. Squeeze hard. Good. Now that it's getting heavier, we're going to move it a little bit quicker. And once you hit a dead spot, I want you to squeeze for about three seconds. Hold it. Good. Now up, slowly. Good. Undo your hands there. Unhook your legs from the machine. Step up. And that is it.